both human capital and economic development are two important concepts that we look at in economics. However, to, to find out the impact of one on the other, we need to essentially look at differences in human capital that are caused by things which don't affect economic development directly. And, and, in, and in our work, we look at these kind of reasons, for example, Catholic missionaries, that affect human capital development. And then we use these differences in human capital development across different areas of India to figure out how they affect economic development. So we find that areas which have higher education, which are, which are areas where the Catholic missionaries settled down in, in the early 20th century, these are indeed areas where, the, when, if you measure their night lights through satellites, these are indeed the most luminous parts of India. And insofar as luminosity measures the level of development of these areas, we draw a causal link from Catholic missionaries when they were settled to the accumulation of higher education and to development as measured by the nightlights. Our study shows that human capital is indeed important for economic development, but it's only one part of human capital as measured by the share of higher educated people. So in dealing with the, in, in trying to understand human capital, one has to be careful how one measures it. So if one were to measure just the people who go to school and drop out, this may not get you economic development and growth. However, higher education does, and that's what we find in our study.